This is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. David Spade is talking about Phil Hartman threatening to shoot Rob Schneider in the head on the set of Saturday Night Live. He threw him against a wall and said, I'll put a bullet in your head. Really? He said Phil had a young college student hired as an intern for a weekend update, but Rob's girlfriend didn't like her and he had Rob fire her. It apparently pissed Phil off. The irony to this statement is, of course, that he died when his wife shot him in the head. I have to say it makes my opinion of Phil go down a little. He was understandably upset, but threatening to shoot a co-worker in the head? Sharon Osbourne reportedly discovered Ozzy's affair by going through his email. Really? A source told Us Magazine that Michelle Pugh was one of his mistresses and that he was supporting her and Sharon found this out by going through his email. I don't know. I don't condemn anyone who would do this, but I don't go through my husband or my adult kids' email. Maybe I'm naive. Then again, she admitted that Ozzy had cheated in the past with two nannies, so she had reason to not trust him. Gawker wants the money the jury awarded to Hulk Hogan lowered substantially. Really? I'm so tired of hearing about Hulk and Gawker. He sues, they fight, he wins, he sues again, they want the money lowered enough. I don't care about him in the first place, but I could kind of get on board with what Gawker did was wrong. But he's a bad person. He was cheating on his wife, he was uttering racial slurs about his daughter's boyfriend, and he wants more and more money for that. And Gawker is making money off his indiscretions and doesn't want to pay what the jury awarded him. I'm so done with it all. Minnie Driver is defending herself against her neighbor's lawsuit. Really? Her neighbors had accused her of hampering construction efforts to build their home, speeding towards them, swearing, and throwing baby food jars full of black paint at their house. Defending herself, Minnie is saying, I'm a single mom. She also claims they were breaking codes in building the house with a mix-up over the easement and property line. And last year, she filed a temporary restraining order against her neighbor, saying he blew smoke in her son's face and cursed at him. I'm guessing this thing is just getting started.